Catherine, on your offer, this is 6-6. Six, six. Time contact, 1028 local. Confirm your dope. Up 23, right 2. Stand by. Send it. Seven years after his first World War Good epic, Passchendaele, actor, writer, and director Paul Gross returns I'm to the battlefield the with his new modern warfare drama, Hyena Road. He joins us in studio this morning, and this is launch day for the trailer. People can see this now online to, as of today. Yes. All right. So um, t tell me a little bit about the, you know, the reason why you would do the, the mod. I mean, I know you went to Afghanistan, you talked to the soldiers. Why this story? Well, uh, <clears throat> first of all, I absolutely never wanted to do another war film because really? it's really complicated and difficult. They're an awful challenge. But I did go to Afghanistan, and then while I was there, I just thought it was one of those mesmerizing places I'd ever been, and I was kind of all over the place. And I thought, well, I'd go back and at least photograph it. And it was in the course of that trip with the camera team. We were a couple of weeks at a forward operating base, and then and just kind of fo pointing our camera at anything we could see. So you see. didn't have any set plan. You just wanted to no. go and hear what they had to say. Yeah, and it was out of those conversations and the, the people that I met who were not only soldiers, but... I also met a whole bunch of Afghans that we worked with and the coalition forces worked with and started to think there is something here that's fascinating because it wasn't anything at all like what I thought it would be. It was an unbelievably complex environment yeah. where everything is moving all the time and agendas are in constant uh, opposition to one another or conflicting and, and then I thought, well, I would like to try doing something with this because I think I don't probably not all that different from the rest of the country. I had no real idea of how complicated it was. And it is the nature of modern warfare, and quite probably will be, it would seem, that we're going to drift into something else similar to that. And I kind of felt, well, maybe we need to know more about what it's like. There's um, a portion in the trailer, anyway, where there's, you know, um, a sniper, and he's trained on um, a, a situation, and they're bringing children out. And he says mm. they are bringing children, and they say, hold your fire. And it's just, it's quite chilling. And th those are some of the stories upon which you base. There's, there's a few different stories in this film, but one of them is about a sniper. It is, yeah. There are basically three storylines. There's a Canadian sniper, and what the Army would kind of refer to it as the kinetic side of the war. That's the war where you're fighting each other with guns. Mm. And then you have the non-kinetic side of the war, which is the intelligence and the hearts and minds and effects that are trying to be achieved in communities. And that's uh, carried by the part that I play as a, an intelligence officer. And then there is a, a, an Afghan an elder, a Mujahideen, a, 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 a sort of legendary figure from a war against the Soviets, who's now resurfaced, and we're trying to work with him. So you have these three kind of, three sides of the war, not exactly in conflict, the agendas are all a bit different. So you see how complicated it actually all is. In putting it together, trying to, you know, put all of these, th I mean, from all of the roles that you kind of play in this, not the least which is in it, um, was there a concern or it, it was it more difficult because you've talked to these guys making sure that it's a documentary but it's a film you're true to the story but you're also telling a story that people are prepared to hear i i just assume that if you kind of if you're fairly accurate to this story it will be of interest and i think it's a fantastically entertaining movie so i'm not concerned about whether or not being accurate is helpful. Mm -hmm. I think, in fact, I think it's its great asset. And we had lots of CF involvement, enormous support from soldiers. And that in constructing the story, which is, has the feel of a documentary, but it is, the eye is actually a metaphor. I mean, right. it is a drama, and it's kind of invented to the extent that I took all of these various interesting stories and assembled them in a narrative line. Um, that I think is quite unexpected, and, and for me, I think it's, it's very powerful the film has an extremely powerful ending and um, and is I suppose ultimately really interested in the intimate costs of warfare so the, for our fellow citizens who we ask periodically to go out and do these things it's probably a good idea that we know what we're asking them to do because it is it it takes exacts a heavy toll out of a lot of the people who served over there 
as we know. And part of the story will, you know, inform people, tell people some of the things we don't understand. We see the headlines. We've got obviously reporters that are embedded, and we've seen that story. But uh, you know, you were there, and it's a different story that you wanted to tell that people to show more. Yeah, and I think you kind of get to 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 experience the war from the inside of it. So it isn't just a, a sort of slightly distant <laughs> reporter's story, which are of course important, but it, I think it's another way of looking at it, so that you can put your feet in the boots of the people that are there. Paul Gross, thank you for coming and sharing with us this morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hyena Road is set for release this October.